so next thing is decomposition okay so what do you mean by the term decomposition well decomposition is nothing but the breakdown breakdown of complex organic matter into simpler inorganic matter by the action of microbe or fungi okay so decomposition is the breakdown of complex organic matter into simpler inorganic matter by the action of microbes or fungi here the simple inorganic matter can be carbon dioxide and h2o okay so um so let's get to know what is detritus because detritus is the raw material of decomposition so detritus is the dead remains of plants animals or the fecal matter okay so all of this the dead remains of plants animals or the fecal matter comprises of the detritus okay so detritus is the raw material of decomposition when decomposition happens in five steps okay the first one is fragmentation the second one is leaching the third one is catabolism the fourth one is humification and the last one is mineralization so these are the five steps that come under decomposition process okay so first uh we'll study what is fragmentation okay let me just rub this off first one is fragmentation right so what do you mean by fragmentation the detrivores example the earthworm okay breaks down the detritus into smaller particles and this is known as and what you call is fragmentation so when the detrivores example the earthworm breaks down the detritus into smaller particles it is called fragmentation right 
Now what is leaching? <coughs> when the water soluble inorganic salts go deep down the soil horizon horizon as unavailable salt it is known as leaching so leaching is happens when the water soluble inorganic salts or not salts actually inorganic matter or yeah inorganic matter goes under deep down the soil horizon and as unavailable salt so this is leaching now what is catabolism bacteria and fungi break down <coughs> detritus into inorganic particles this is known as catabolism when the bacteria and fungi break down detritus into inorganic particles it is known as catabolism well it is to be remembered that all these three processes are going on simultaneously on the detritus okay it's not like they are going one after the other but they are going simultaneously they are working simultaneously on the detritus now what is humification well humification leads to accumulation of a dark amorphous substance which is resistant to microbial action and undergoes decomposition at a very slow rate okay so humification leads to accumulation of a dark amorphous substance which is called humus okay well they can ask you what is humus so you will write it's a dark amorphous substance okay which uh, okay so what is humification it leads to accumulation of a dark amorphous substance called humus which is highly resistant to microbial action and undergoes decomposition at a very slow rate so being colloidal in nature the humus okay being colloidal in nature it act as a reservoir for decomposition so after this we come to mineralization which means 
fungi and bacteria work upon this humus this humus to break it down to break it down into inorganic particles into inorganic matter using certain so humus being colloidal in nature it acts as a reservoir for decomposition or a reservoir of nutrients you can say okay so the fungi and bacteria work upon this humus to break it down into inorganic matter using certain enzymes okay so this is how the process of decomposition works okay these were the five processes <coughs> that come under decomposition hmm? well there are few factors under which the uh, do there are few factors on which the rate of decomposition depends some of these factors are so let me just drop this off some of the factors are like if there would be if there would be lignin or lignin or chitin in the detritus then the rate of decomposition will be slow okay it will be slow whereas whereas if there is nitrogen or water soluble substances like sugar in the detritus then the rate of decomposition will be quick okay to be quick it will be fast so if there are the lignin or the chitin present then the detri in the detritus then the rate of de decomposition will slow down whereas if there is nitrogen or water soluble substances like sugar then the rate of decomposition will be quick okay and uh, there are also climatic factors uh, which uh, uh, you know uh, decomposition also depends on the climatic factors for example if the temperature is high okay and there is and the humidity level is also high is also high then the i am writing it as rod which is rate of decomposition then the rate of decomposition will also be high okay if the temperature is high and humidity is high then the rate of decomposition will also be high whereas 
if the temperature is low and the humidity is also low then the rate of the rate of decomposition will also be low so these are the climatic factors on which decomposition depends well decomposition is an oxygen dependent process which means if it is if there is an anaerobic environment if there is an anaerobic environment the rate of decomposition will slow down okay so these are the few factors on which decomposition depends like we read here if there would be the pres there would be presence of lignin or chitin in the detritus then the rate of decomposition will slow down whereas if there will be nitrogen or <coughs> what is soluble substances like the sugar <clears throat> in that detritus then the rate of decomposition will be quick it will be fast it will increase there are climatic factors like if the temperature is high and the humidity is high then the rate of decomposition will also be high but if the temperature is low or the rate of humidity is low then the rate of decomposition will also be low and as you guys know that decomposition is a, is an oxygen dependent process so if there is an anaerobic environment then the rate of decomposition will slow down okay then the rate of decomposition will slow down